What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here. Uh, back with more. Let's play Hippopotamus 64. So in the last part, we finished the second subgate and then just started doing a bunch of uh, random little minigame... Not minigame side quests, I guess would be the more correct way to put it. Um, and in this part, we're actually going to continue doing that for a little bit. Um, there's a few other side quests we can do right now. Um, the last thing we did was... We, whoa, hello. Forgot I had this thing equipped. Bam. Wow, that has just the shittiest range. Um, uh, the last thing we did was bring a saw. A saw over here to the... Eh, it's not done. Okay. So the last thing we did was bring a saw over to say the secret base, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and in this part, we're going to show off a new minigame we can do over at the... Uh, in Uptown at the TV station, now that we have the jet skates. Whatever the fuck they're called. I actually don't even remember what the skates are called. Yeah, I'm faster than your car. Get at me. How much money do I have? 19... 90? 19,090. I mean... I know how numbers work. Shut up. Um... So, I'm, I'm recording really late right now. Well, not really late, but I'm recording later than I usually do. It's like almost 11 o'clock right now. Um, I had two days off in a row from work, and it was so great. And I didn't really do anything or get anything recorded like I should have, because I'm a terrible human being. Do you want to see the high scores for each game? No. Screw you. I don't like you. Shout out to these elevators that are like... The doors are like a foot off the ground for some reason. Anyway. Not her. Is it you? There we go. Okay, so... No, I'm good. Welcome to the running course, I guess. Um, all you have to do is make it through these... these gates and hitting those special cones stops time um, the straight course is obviously really easy let's go with I don't know why I went the long way on that um, shout outs to M2D um, I'm assuming that's Mewtwo dad Mewtwo king's father and uh, Mewtwo Mom didn't quite make it on there. So just like the um, balloon shooting game and the ball kicking game, there are uh, multiple levels to, oh. Fun fact, I can probably still do this. Oh, I almost made it. Despite, despite screwing that up that badly, I still almost made it. Um, I'm pretty sure the first straight course, the 12 second course, can actually just be ran through. <laughs> like, you can, you don't even have to use the skates, you can just straight up run through it. Um, because it's that short. Um, they, unlike the, uh, the balloon, well, okay, no, I should say more like the balloon, um, shooting games, uh, these ones actually get really hard. Well, not really hard, but they get, like, legitimate legitimately kind of difficult because they start they really they really expect you to finish these quickly uh the last one especially for the um the the technical and curve courses like you have to do perfect like absolutely perfect and get the um and get the time stop cones whatever time is that one whatever Whoa! <laughs> what do you mean time's up? I made it! Whatever. Um, that's kind of my own fault. I let go of forward. Um, when using these, you actually move faster if you, uh, if you hold forward. Mega Man has two speeds. The speed when you're just holding down um, C down, and the speed when you're actually... Um, 
when you're actually uh, holding forward. Not the worst thing ever right there. And this is another easy way to make money. Really? I have to reset it? Oh, I guess it's for every, um, every individual course. That's dumb. Yo, someone did way better than me. Uh, this is another good way to make money, the straight course specifically, because uh, it only takes about six seconds to finish. Six or seven seconds. Um, which means you can finish it really quickly, and you get... Uh, I can't actually remember how much money you get for finishing it. Um, obviously... You know what? Just because just cause you're annoying me, we're going to go profane. Forget. So you get for annoying me. Wow, I gotta do better than 623. I don't even want to do better than 623 because if I do, I have to put my name in again. I don't want to do that. Ah, I tried to just run it in. I wanted to see if I could do it. Oh, I don't usually have this much trouble. Usually. Man, I beat my time. I just, like, don't care. <laughs> so as you can see, like, eight seconds... Like, eight seconds is like a, like... You can't screw up even once, or else you're definitely not going to get it kind of time. Oh, in the Omni unit! Yay! <laughs> I tied the best time. Okay, so technical, technical course is really annoying. Because it's really long, and it's easy to screw up. Fun fact, last time I played this game, I played it on an emulator. I was over at, whatever, it, that one actually doesn't matter since I'm on the right? Um, I was over at, um, Sean's house, and we were just live streaming, I was like, I want something to do. So I had to play it on a, um, with an Xbox 360 controller, and oh my god, it was awful. Like, it was the worst thing ever. Wow, I didn't even make a record time there. screw this up. And it's really easy to screw this one up. There's a lot of really tight turns. good enough. I think the A rank... Um, no, okay. I was gonna say, I think the A rank time requires you to get less than 14 seconds. <laughs> but it might just be less than 16. the best time. I was way better at this game when I was a kid, by the way. Um, I think the be <laughs> I think the best story to describe how much better at this I was as a kid than I am now. Um, in the the ball kicking game, oh, whatever. I can't I can't even pause it. 
in the ball kicking game, um, I used to be so good that, um, like, but I could literally, oh shit. Whatever. Gotta redo that now. Um, hold on, let me get back into this and I'll, I'll tell the story. No. Okay, so in the, the ball kicking game, uh, I could literally position Mega Man perfectly so that I could literally just spam, like, literally just hold down the B button. And I would always, 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 uh, oh my god, again, really? I'd perfectly hit the dog every single time, including the, the, uh, the golden dog. Um, so I'd always end up with a score of like 23 or something like that. Um, and I don't remember how I used to do it. Or like on this one, um, I'd regularly finish with like a time of 12 seconds. Um, clearly not happening now. Shit. I really fucked that up. Do it, Mega Man. Oh, almost had that comeback. Um, why am I... Okay, I'm having a lot of trouble with this. One of the main problems, I think, is that I have to use the control stick for this minigame. This is going to sound really weird, but... Um, I play this game kind of with a... Um, a combination of the, the D-pad and the C-stick, usually. Um... Whatever, I, I did it at least. And I got the item for a giant horn! Um, which, is like, which is the reason I prefer playing it on the, um, the N64 when compared to the, uh, the PS1. I don't know, it's... I think it's mostly just habit, um... Like, I, I originally started playing this game on the PS1. I played it on the PS1 more than I played it on the, PS, the N64. Um, but I didn't own it in a PS1 until, you know, later in life. And then... I... I played the, I played the N64 game version so much that I just got used to using the controls. And honestly, the C-Stick is just better. I mean, the C-Stick, the control stick. It's called a giant horn. Yeah, I know. Maybe you've seen some rich people on TV with these on display in their it houses. That's what it told us when we got it. They're worth a lot. Would you let me put it on display here, please? Thank you so much. I I'm sure there are a oh, lot of people. Oh, I was about to say, I'm sure there's a lot of people. I would have it wrong. Okay, I don't think I have anything else to give you, right? You're. No. See if she appears. Let's see what we got here. Nope, still not here yet. Giant horn, believed to be the horn of a fang of an animal shaped for your body. Oh, mountain rock here is above ground. Well, okay then. Alright, so that's it for mini games we can do. Um, now I think I'm going to go back to the second subgate and see if this weapon can destroy the um, destroy the things that were blocking the path. I think it can. I'm pretty sure um, this is one of two weapons that can do it. It's a really like crappy weapon though. Uh, you can upgrade it to be okay, I guess, but it's never it never becomes that useful. Honestly, most of the secondary weapons in this game are just like not that good. Oh. Oh, cool. That that worked out perfectly. Okay, hold on. I also want to uh, check out the Buster part we got here. So I wasn't paying attention there. Who, 
who knows how much money I have? Can someone tell me real quick? No? Okay, whatever. Uh, 39 grand, not bad. Uh, I need 120 for the, um, the Kevlar Jacket Omega, which gives me, um, which decreases damage by three quarters, which is useful because some of the enemies in, at the end of the game hit for just a ton of damage. As to some of the bosses, I'd really like to have it before, um, I fight the last couple bosses. Uh, not necessarily the next boss I'm going to fight, although it would be very useful to have during that fight. Alright, please do it. Please, please do the thing. Nope. What does it then? Because I know something else does it. I even tried to look it up online, and I couldn't find anything on it, which was annoying. Oh well. That was kind of useless then, I guess. Not even gonna do- oh! I was about to say, not even gonna deal with these invisible assholes, but there they are. Look at that. That's so bad. It's just such a bad weapon. Anyway, yeah, most of the, um, most of the secondary weapons in this game are really bad. Um, the reason I'm constantly using the vacuum arm isn't just because it's got the utility, it's also because there's not really anything to replace it, with the exception of one weapon, which anyone who's played this game before knows what that is. Uh, let's return to the Unfortunately, I do still need to keep this weapon equipped. Um, data right there? Yeah, heal me data. Um, God damn it. I keep hitting B too many times. It's like I'm talking to that fucking owl in Legend of Zelda again. Do you want to hear everything I just said again? Yes. So you will note that nothing I actually got from the, um, the, the mini games I played there can be used in item development either, so, um, there's not really anything to do with that. I'm gonna go see... You know what? No. I'm not gonna go see anything. What I'm going to do is... No, actually... Damn it. I was gonna say... Actually, I'm gonna go refill my canteen. Um, but, I guess I'm not. In fact, I'm actually just gonna go to the forest. We're gonna go to the flutter. Oh, I overshot it. I hate it when I do that. Oh, by the way, shoutouts to this ladder you can actually climb. Not in the regular way, mind you, but you can climb it. Nope, nothing to do there. This is uh, Professor Barrel's room, I think. This is our room, really. Oh, no, this is our room. Huh. The hell is that thing over here? Why? Why do you have a lamp that aims directly at your head, Mega Man? That seems like an odd thing. If you go over here, off on the stair, everybody. This is, I think, Professor Barrel's room.
what the hell is this moon? <laughs> it's a chest. Ooh, I almost forgot about that. Um, oh, maybe that's what it is. Uh, well, I'll try it off screen, and if it works out, you'll see me there. Should be able to get around. Should be able to take us to the other side woods or the closer woods. Try to worry though. Seems like things are starting to get out of hand. Not sure, but I think Graham's nervous about something too. Why don't you go talk to him? I think he's in the living room. Nah, let's talk to you again. What? I actually have. Okay, that's dumb. <laughs> I actually wanted to show something off, but I guess I can't. Treasure's supposed to be buried here. Yeah, it's just got some mysteries. I don't know where to start looking. And have you ever heard of the main gate? Yes. Oh, you have, eh? You probably don't know this, but the largest room on the island is called the main gate, and can be found near the old city. The news about it is that, as so far as anyone knows, there's no way to get inside. I feel like it's connected in some way to... Wait, what? I think I read that wrong. <laughs> Tell me, Mega Man, have you found... Passage in the subgates that connects the main to the main gate? No. If I'm right, the subgate in the closer woods is some kind of key for the main gate. And I'm willing to bet anything those the treasure those pirates are after is inside the main gate. Okay, I don't care anymore. We get it. Main gate main gate important. Was that a picture of sheep? What the fuck? Picture from sea <laughs> Okay. Um that answers my question, I guess. Let's try talking to roll one more time and see if we can do this. This is the flower you gave it by, gave her, by the way. Um, if you don't give it to her, it won't be there. I... I wonder if I have to do it in the R&D room. Just a peek. Let's go to the R&D room. Hey, Mega Man, where'd you get that music box? What, you got a prize in a race? Wanted to win it for you. I'm a fast runner. Uh, I think that'll do it. Blow up walls and... God damn it. Yep. Okay, so that was what I was thinking of. I forgot about the Grand Grenade entirely. Uh, I'm actually going to enhance it real quick. Um, this, oh fuck, I don't even have enough money to increase it the first time. Ah. Uh, okay. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, because I'm about to go over to Uptown and grind a little bit of money. Um, so that I can afford to upgrade that the first time, because if you don't upgrade it at least its energy at least once, uh, you won't have enough ammo to break down all of the walls you need to break down in the Lake Subgate. I can't remember what it's called. Lake June, that's it. It's Lake June. Um, same month I was born in. Why is it so hard for me to remember this? Um, but anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna get, you know, enough money to to upgrade it at least once. And then we'll go, th the next part we'll go through the, um, the, uh, I don't know what I wanna call them all, the sealed off areas under there. Um, so that'll be it for this part. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.